everyone, I'm Katie Farner, director for the Sunshine State Superstars. You're watching my series called Launch to Leadership, teaching you, giving you ideas on how you can earn our 2015 summer incentive trip. Now, if you want to learn more about the incentive trip and the point system and how all that works, you can visit the resources tab of your workstation, or you can watch my video that breaks it all down for you. So in this video, I'm actually going to talk about a recruiting tip. Recruiting is where you're going to get the most points. So you're going to notice that most of my videos revolve around recruiting because that is where the points are at. And I want you to earn this trip. So we're going to focus the most on recruiting. So I'm going to give you a quick tip today about how you can get some new connections and start some new conversations about recruiting. So one of our greatest tools is social media. We got to make sure that we're using social media effectively. A lot of times we'll think, oh, I was on Facebook for like 30 minutes today. I'm, I was working my business. But were you really or were you just kind of perusing the news feed and maybe saving a pretty image that you found? Like that's not really like working your business. Working your business would be making conversations, trying to connect with new people, liking or commenting on your customers um, or potential recruits, photos, things like that. But here's one of the tips that I'm going to give you for this one. Every single week. I challenge myself to reach out to three or five, depending on what my week looks like, three or five random people from my Facebook friends list. My Facebook friends list has grown a lot over the years of being with Facebook, whether it's people I was working with at that time or people I went to high school with or whatever. My Facebook, and now that I'm a consultant, every time I gain a new customer, I search for them on Facebook. So my friends list has really grown. So it's not a short pool of people to look through. So I just scroll through my Facebook friends list and look for somebody that I haven't talked with in a while. Three or five people every week. So I just send them a private message for conversation's sake, not for the sake of recruiting necessarily right off the bat, but for conversation's sake. If they don't live in my town, that's even better because if they don't live in my town, then that gives me even more of an opportunity to help them start a new business in a new town. So I'll just send them a message. Hey, how's it going? How are the kids? If they have kids, how's the job? How's whatever? Just friendly conversation. Invest in them. Put, in, put energy and interest into them. Compliment them on maybe a picture you've seen of their weight loss or whatever. Um, then when they respond, if you have been working your business like you should on social media, they'll bring up Sensi or Velada without you even saying it. Because I promise you every time, that is what happens to me. People will always say, oh, it looks like your Sensi business is going great for you. Oh, you know, I'm happy to see you're doing well with Sensi. People say that every time. So it doesn't make me have to bring it up. They bring it up. So then when I respond to them and I tell them how other things are going in my life, and of course, yeah, Sensi's going great you know, blessing people with the business opportunity is my favorite part because it's changed my life and I love seeing it bless other people's lives. You know, I say that and then I always throw it in there for them. I make it about them, you know, so maybe I know they stay home with their kids. I'll throw it in there and say, if you're ever looking for something to do on the side for extra income, kind of fun time, mom time with no kids, Sensi would be a great opportunity for you. Or if I see that they work another job, I would say something like, do you know anybody in your area who's looking for work, but to be able to work from home? I'm looking to grow my team in your area. If they don't, if they live in your same town, then don't say the whole your area thing. Just say, do you know anybody who's looking to work from home and make extra money? It could be them. When you put it that way, it almost makes them think, well, why didn't she think of me? Like, I might be interested in that, you know? And she would say so back. So every week, focus on three or five people randomly connect with, make conversations with. Now, I'm not telling you that the very first time you do this, you're going to get three or five recruits out of it. That's not what I'm saying. You're planting seeds. This is a continuous process. And that's why every month I'm consistently sponsoring a minimum of two to three people because I never stop planting the seeds. If you never stop planting the seeds, you're never going to stop see, excuse me, seeing growth. So make sure that you're always planting those seeds and don't stop just because you don't see immediate results. 
You might not get someone out of it joining until July or August or September or October. But hey, we got another incentive trip in the fall. So they might join during that season. You never know. But get in continuous habit of using social media this way and I know you're going to find leads out of it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope these tips are going to help you launch to leadership. I'll see you next time.